All right, I'm gonna be talking about GIMP today, and basically I'm just gonna talk about the uh, the user interface. Let me get it going right now. Let me start it. So when you launch GIMP, of course, there's gonna be like three uh, windows, and uh, for most people that's okay. For me, it's it's all right, but I don't I don't really care for it. I can just you know the way GIMP works, you can actually modify it, move stuff around, which is great. So uh, let me uh, make this window a little bit bigger. So this this dialog over here. Okay, when I first started using GIMP, I accidentally uh, deleted it. So let me get rid of it. To get that back, just go to Windows, recently closed, right here, this thing, and click on this, and it just brings it right back, right? So uh, the way I have my GIMP set up, I have a lot of this stuff over here on this side, the right side, I mean the left side, I mean, sorry about that. Let me grab my layers, just drag it over, and just drop it right up here. And my uh, brushes, bring it over, and uh, my uh, what do you call this uh, gradients? <clears throat> then I just then I just close it off and then you know because I don't need it anymore. Anyways, um, the layer section I usually move it right here. So I got my layers, I got my settings, my brushes, and my gradients all lined up. And if you right click, you should be able to you know modify each one or move it around or uh, you know uh, tabs or whatever. You can you can still you know tinker around with the settings, but pretty much this is what I have by default and. The default settings on GIMP are fine, and I'm talking about like the keyboard shortcuts and other stuff. The default memory size or the catch size, you know what I mean? Um, that stuff's okay. You can tinker around with it if you want. You know that's up to you. But I just usually leave it alone. But one of the main things I do modify right off the bat it will be the resolution size. So these are like common resolutions, like monitor resolutions and stuff. You know what I mean? And by default, it's like I think 640 by 800 or something or 600. I can't remember. It's really small, and they say like you 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 make a little wallpaper or something really nice, and then uh, you set it on your monitor, and your monitor your monitor happens to be uh, like this size right here, all right. And your your stock your uh, your image you modified is smaller than that size, right? So when you when you uh, put it as your wallpaper or whatever, it's going to look really pixely and wrong. So if you can be making wallpapers and, and image sizes and modifying images and you know, whatever, make sure you have the proper resolution size to begin with. You know what I mean? That way, in the end product or whatever you're doing, it will look you know nice. So, this is what I have my default as, right? 2560 by uh, 1600. It, the end product of that looks really nice on on pretty much any monitor. You know, it's real sharp and crisp and clean. It's not too blurry or pixely. You know what I mean? So. Let me close that off. All right, to do that, just go to Edit Preferences, and just say Default Image Size, and just type in your resolution that you want to use right there. <clears throat> and everything else, I kind of leave at default. There's some things in here you can modify and play with, like themes. Like you see how it says User Shared GIMP to whatever themes. Um, that's referring to. Uh, well, you know what? Can you put that in there? I think you can put that in your home folder, your dot, your dot gim folder. Let me check. Because if you go to, a, a, I think, the Von Art or Gnome Look, you can find some themes for GIMP. Let me see, is there a theme folder? There it is, right here. There's a theme folder. So if you find any themes, icon themes for GIMP, just drop it in here. Your home folder dot gimp 2.6, you know, themes. Drop it in there and just select it right here. Let's see what else can I show you. Appearance, um, toolbox. I like to have this, these two checked, so I can kind of see what's going on right here. I can click on my gradient or whatever, you know, what what I'm using. It it it's like a visual thing, basically. You know what I mean? That's all it is. All right. <clears throat> so pretty much that's it for for how I have mine set up. Um, I do own a tablet, right? A Wacom Bamboo Fun. These things are, they're not the cheapest thing, but they're not the most expensive. I think I paid 200 for this. It has multi-touch, um, you know, it has the little buttons on the pin. Um, that's middle click, and I think that's right click or something. And it has an eraser. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, everything works under Linux. Uh, a couple years ago, it didn't. I had to compile the drivers myself, and even when I compiled it, it, it never really worked right. And it was mainly had to do with the touch, the multi-touch, but now, uh, by default with Natty, when you plug this thing in, it works. Okay, that's great, you know. Uh, if you're using Maverick, you can get this to work, but you have to uh, install a PPA. 
and I'll find the PPA and I'll, I'll put it in the description down below in case you guys are, are wondering about this because I don't think nobody on YouTube is really talking about these little tablets but um, they do work you know what I mean they're just uh, a little bit tricky to get going <clears throat> so in GIMP to get that working go to uh, input devices where it says configure uh, extend the input devices click on that and by default all these right here all right depending on what you have plugged in will be disabled right and the most important thing not to do is to have multiple devices enabled right so I said by enabling a device you put screen or window okay um, like if I have this right here and I have that set to screen then I put this and set that to screen they're gonna conflict with each other so I'm gonna disable that and go over here put that disabled so mine will be I'm gonna put pen and stylus okay that's mine I'm gonna set this to screen right now click save close it all right okay now I got I gotta shut it down and restart it so I'm gonna close it down restart it and my uh, my uh, stylus and a uh, uh, art pad should work right now all right file new press OK double click this let me uh, zoom in a little bit and it does have multi-touch support you know like like Apple or what do you call it the uh, the pinch to zoom it does does that stuff and you know it's pretty cool let me see if I can get the uh, pressure sensitivity working right now I'm gonna use the pin so if I if I put light pressure right I put dark heavy pressure see how it gets really dark see what I mean so it's pretty cool I mean you can you know do all kinds of crazy stuff you know write something or whatever like a little little dude <laughs> anyways I do I do draw a lot with this you know I'm just you know I'm just goofing off but yeah this is proof that it does work and if you're if you're uh, if you use my paint the eraser does work on my paint but I can't get the, this eraser to work in GIMP yet but anyways uh, <clears throat> if you don't want the multi-touch support to be to be enabled I'll put a link in the description to this website but um I think this is the PPA you need to add for Maverick but I'm not too sure right but uh okay mine's a this is a, a 4x5 so mine is an 8x6 right and if you don't want the multi-touch to be on right see how it says touch off get this line right copy it make sure you have the correct uh, uh, inch you know what I mean like 6 by 8 or whatever the hell you want to call it all right copy that okay go to your uh, your startup applications oh geez I can't type right now there it goes uh, click add and I guess put like like uh, it's called a bent I'll put walk on all right go to command right click paste <clears throat> click add and you're done all right, and when you start your machine, it will disable the the, uh, the touch sensitivity, or it will disable touch uh, completely. I'm sorry. So I think that's just in case if you don't want to have that enabled. All right. So, uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. You know, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. You know, it was just a basic overview. I didn't, I didn't really want to go into detail with it. You know what I mean? So, hope that helped anybody. So, uh, see you guys later.